Hi, folks. A little after 1130, 12, 8, 15. Welcome to Tuesday. Oh, my battery's back to fully charged. Um, 5.4 degrees Celsius, 57% humidity. What am I up to today? Um, back to some of the winter projects that I'm hoping to be able to work on once it, uh, once it, uh, chills down. So, you guys know I ordered an engine, a Honda TRX 200 SX engine, um, eBay deal. It was 300 or 350 delivered to the house. Yeah, I got to contact that guy to make sure he's uh, gets me my refund soon. Um, anyway, so I ordered that engine and it showed up broken, right? Um, UPS drove the uh, shifter shaft through the side of the engine. So God knows, uh, you could say, oh, well, just throw a cover on it. You probably have one. And yes, though I might, I also don't know what damage was done to the transmission. So anyway, it was sent back. And God, these Teletubbies, they're everywhere. Um... This is a Chinese engine. It's a 125. And, and let me tell you what was going on in my head. Um, you guys know Rusty, um, Rusty Glove Box out in Texas. He, he does some nice videos. I did a call out for him. And he asked me, what do I think of these engines? Are they any good? Well, I have some experience with the uh, Lifran. Um, I put that on a pit bike and uh, it, it runs like mint. Nice, nice. Um, the pit bike had a 110 on it. I put in a 125 um, uh, dual overhead. I think, I think it's got three intake valves on it. Um, nice engine. Uh, strong. Pulls great. So I, I've been very happy with that. And so I ordered this Honda TRX. 200 SX engine because I wanted the reverse and so forth um, just a nice engine and it was a reasonable deal I thought and it came destroyed so now I'm thinking y you know I'm not ordering any more of these used engines they just don't work and uh, then Rusty Glove Boss asked me what do you think of the um, these China clone um, ATV engines. Have you bought any? And other, other ones other than the Lifran, I, I didn't have any experience. So I went and I looked them up to see what was out there. And a guy had this guy here, and he was asking three and a quarter or best offer. And he sells a lot of them. He's, he's got an eBay business. Um, so I offered him 250 He came back at 300 anyway we went back and forth and i ended up getting it for 275 so it's a brand new engine right this is this is how it showed up this is what it came with right intake manifold i gotta choke up my own carb came with a bunch of bolts i took it out of the box and looked it over to make sure it wasn't damaged and it actually got here alive so um it is a 125 and I don't, I don't know. Could you guys see that? It's got reverse O, what I guess is neutral. One, two, three. It's got an uh, reverse is down, and it looks like one, two, three is all in a row as an up pattern. Came with the um, um, sprocket. Once again, intake manifold, some bolts for the carburetor. This is closed up. And uh, once again, I looked it all over. It's not damaged. It looks, I got to tell you, it looks exactly like the 125 engine on this guy. I mean, the starter's on the bottom. But other than that, and as a matter of fact, I was thinking of putting it on this thing as a test jig. But it's not going on here because the starter is going to be giving me spacing problems. You know, unless I 
cut the upper bar or futz around with the upper bar. It's not going on here. I'm going to have to think of something else to do. All right, anyway, so, um, yeah, for 275 I'm thinking, I'm thinking it's not a bad thing. So after I dug that up, I had bought this exhaust system a number of years back, and it's for, I think I bought it for a Honda 70, but I just checked the dimensions and all, and um, that pipe end will smash right, right into there. So I even, I even have the exhaust system carburetor, you know, that's not a problem. Um, I could put one of the smaller bore um, P27s on there, whatever. So that gets gets me there. And then, lastly, I have a rear end here, straight axle, with a couple of monster tires on it. I was going to carry it out, but I can't quite get in there to get it. So I got that thing, which is interesting. And then, so picture the engine, right? So I got a three-speed plus reverse. Picture it geared down nice and slow, right? So I got all that junk. And then we got the handicap chair. Right. Um, I'm not exactly sure I'm going to use this or all of this or quite honestly any of this. Um, but what I'd actually like and Cushman made them for a while um, and a couple of other companies made them for a while um, they were little three-wheeled carts that you would sit on like you would be sitting on a regular chair and they weren't meant to go very fast and and they were basically meant for delivering stuff that's the lift ran on that thing um, made for just delivering stuff around um, a factory or whatever. Um, most of them were electric, um, though some of them had gas engines on them and some of them had gas engines um, that I've seen uh, and, and built this way, um, not, not an alteration, as much as uh, eight horsepower. And considering they're not all that much wider than a snowblower. I mean, their, their back footprint is only a couple of feet wide. And, you know, maybe they're four foot long, four and a half foot long. Um, and you're sitting on it like an easy chair. You, uh, you got, you got something that's pretty, pretty strong there. I mean, if, uh, if they don't gear it way down, you'd be, uh, you'd be flying with that, with that beast. So, that's that's a, a second um, project that's been kind of floating around in, in my head. So, um, Rusty Glove Box, I'll let you know how I make out with this engine. I am um, disorganized and confused and everything else. Uh, because what I would have liked to do is I would have liked to print out the uh, eBay uh, sheets for you guys so you guys could see what the solar panels cost exactly what the inverter cost where I got it from and um, then then once again you could see what the engine cost the exhaust system I bought that years ago actually the solar panels I've I've had them floating around for a little while too the inverter um, the inverter and the batteries. The batteries are the very last thing I need to get. First I got the solar panels, um, then I ordered the charge controllers, um, then then I obviously I just got the inverter and last I need to get the batteries. Batteries have somewhat of a shelf life so you, you know I wasn't like 
I don't want those to sit around for six months whilst whilst I'm screwing screwing around think, trying to figure out what I'm doing. When I get the batteries, I want I want to move forward on the uh, installation very very quickly. Um, that way I could get everything functioning. Uh, so. Um, motor project I showed you rear end I showed you the motor I showed you it has reverse um, buying those motor packets like that and I'm gonna call it a packet is it gives you a few things all in one so you got the motor so you have a propulsion unit you have a clutch built into them and they come two different ways they come um, with a with a constant velocity C constant velocity transmission so CVT um, they come like that but if they come like that sometimes they have reverse sometimes they don't the, the more expensive ones have reverse and have a three-speed uh, with the semi-automatic clutch in them okay so they're the ones that are, are a tad more expensive like 50 bucks more expensive if you just go with a uh, constant velocity transmission and just forward they're a little cheaper you can work your way closer to 200 than 300 um, and and once again constant velocity forward and reverse they're you, you know once again a little closer to 200 than, than 300 well closer to 250 than 300 typically with the three speed and reverse you're you're at 300 typically um, constant velocity forward and reverse is about 250 and if you're you're just interested in forward you can get yourself down to around two and a quarter I personally recommend getting everything but anyway these engine packets obviously you have an engine you have a transmission and an automatic clutch so it makes it very easy if if you're a um, do-it-yourselfer because you don't have to be thinking about okay I got this predator engine what am I doing for a clutch all right I'm putting a centrifugal clutch on it well even a cheap predator engine you're looking at a C note a hundred dollars and then for a um, clutch you're looking at the major part of another 50. So you're at 150 bucks and you don't have reverse and you don't have electric start and you don't have an, um, an, an ignition system that you could keep a battery charged with, right? Um, so is it worth theoretically call it another 150 bucks to get those things, to have electric start, a charging system, and reverse. Personally, to me, I, I think it is worth that. I think it's well well worth that. If, once again, you have the 150 bucks or the $300 to throw around. Uh, in the meantime, I want to thank all you folks for watching and commenting and subscribing. Remember to keep your feet down, keep your head up, and folks, please get out there and enjoy all your days. You don't know how many you're going to get, so get out there and enjoy them. Oh, and one last thing. Don't forget my contest, right? Um, I put up a video a couple of days ago. Win yourself this grinder, right? Hoarding Mayhem, 1300 subscriber contest. You need to be a subscriber. Comment on the video um, that has that title. And you get this 4-inch grinder. Or 20 bucks if you're here in America. If um, you're overseas, I put 20 bucks in an envelope. And hopefully nobody takes it. Um, okay, that about covers it. Once again, folks, feet down, head up, and enjoy all your days. Bye now.